basic conditions of negotiation. In the following section, we will address some important questions that are crucial for a successful negotiation. Let's first ask what conditions have to be met. A negotiation exists if the following conditions are met. First is a mutual dependency. That means the parties need each other. That means in particular, an approximate balance of power between the parties. If one party can achieve its goal without the cooperation of the other side, for example, because it is much more powerful, an important condition for negotiation is missing. The strong party will take what it needs, even if the weaker party does not agree. It reminds me of the song, the winner takes it all. That's exactly the situation. Next condition for a negotiation is, there must be a conflict of interests and needs. And last not least, an agreement is seen by the parties as the goal of the negotiation. Now let's think about what a successful negotiator should know and be able to do. First, the knowledge that distinguishes a successful negotiator is based on long negotiation experience as well as on knowledge of scientific research. In addition, secondly, in addition, successful negotiation requires skills such as keeping to the facts, even if the other party expresses strong emotional feelings. Keeping to the point without destroying the interpersonal relationship. Improving an existing interpersonal relationship without having to make concessions within the factual level. Being able to say what you really want in a way that brings attention to your position. You might remember the famous song of the Spice Girls who sang, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. This is a very crucial condition for uh, being successful. And last not least, listening actively and to use questioning techniques relevant to the particular, a particular situation, sorry. <clears throat> this brings us to the crucial question how can negotiating be learned? From Friedrich Haft, a German law professor, comes the remarkable and encouraging sentence, a negotiator is not born, he is made. This means that the art of negotiation is not something we are born with, but something we can improve and develop to perfection through prolonged practice and constant repetition. When applied to learning of negotiating, this means that you only need to exercise the potential you already possess at the places where you think you need to improve and to expand these skills step by step. At the next best opportunity, transform your plans into reality and do not forget the most important step, namely testing and optimizing optimization of the newly learned pattern of behavior for the next negotiating session. Learning by doing is one side of the coin, but self-improvement also requires continuous observation and practicing of what you have learned. So much of that what I tell you is theory. To become a very good negotiator, it is very important to practice, to put this, to put my words into reality. Next question, am I the right partner for this negotiation? This question, ask only a few negotiators themselves. Many negotiations fail because the chemistry between the two negotiating parties is not right. Negotiation can sometimes be concluded successfully when the negotiating partners or one partner are replaced by other persons. 
I recall quite clearly a negotiating seminar in which we acted out <clears throat> a difficult negotiating situation of one of the seminar participants. One colleague played the negotiating partner so realistically and with such vigor that he that it seemed almost impossible that we would come to a successful conclusion. I casually mentioned to this person at the end of the seminar that something it also that sometimes it also helps sending someone else into the negotiations. A few days later, I got a phone call from that person. He was very enthusiastic and thanked me intensely for the seminar, which helped him considerably. He was able to successfully conclude the negotiations that we acted out in the seminar. The entire negotiating session took only 15 minutes to finish. Since I still had the impression of his hopeless situation from the seminar in my mind, I asked him in surprise, how did you accomplish that? Can you guess what he replied? He said, I sent a colleague of mine instead. <laughs> <laughs>